ratios and proportions. So in this series of ratios and proportions, we will learn how to find the unknown variable. So we'll use techniques like scale factor and cross multiply. Correct? Now, here we have a couple of ratios. Two of them I'll do and two I'll leave for you to practice. So the first one is 12 divided by 9 equals to x over 3. And we have to find the unknown. X is the unknown here, X is unknown here, Y and N are unknown in C and D, correct? Now, one way to do it is to find the scale factor, right? So let me write down this term for you, scale factor. Remember this, scale factor means multiplying or dividing by the same number. So, scale factor gives us solution to ratios and proportions. Now how do you get, here we want to find x. The thing is we are given relation between 9 and 3. So how do you get 3 from 9? That will decide a scale factor, correct? So to get from 9 to 3, we need to divide by 3, right? 9 divided by 3 is 3. Similarly, now let's divide 12 by 3. So if we divide 12 by 3, what do we get? So 12 divided by 3 is equals to 4. That means x is equals to 4, correct? We can write this as 4 over 3. Does it make sense? 12 over 9 equals to 4 over 3. Do you see? x is equals to 4. So that is how we can do it and write x is equals to 4. So that is a check. Now here, we will apply the same method. Now we have to find x. That means we have to see how do we get 7 from 14. So 7 is half of 14, correct? Therefore x should be equals to half of 8. So x is equals to 4. So this is the method scale factor which we have used here to find x. The other is cross multiply. We'll also show you how to use cross multiply. Okay, cross multiply. So in cross multiply, what we do is we just cross multiply. So we get 14x here. We get 14x is equals to 7 times 8, which is 56. So I can write 7 times 8, 7 times 8 like this, right? Then x is how much? We'll divide both sides by 14. So we get x equals to 7 times 8 over 14, correct? So that is how we get the value of x. This method is very helpful if you can't find scale factor easily, right? Now this can be simplified. X, 7 goes 2 times in 14, correct? 7 times 1 is 7, 7 times 2 is 14, right? And you can divide 8 by 2 and get 4, correct? So we get X is equals to 4 as your answer. Do you see that? So we got the answer by cross multiply, correct? Here I'll show you cross multiply with this also. So, here what we do is, we'll cross multiply 3 times 12. So at times you can just multiply 3 times 12. So let me write here as 12 times 3 equals to 9 times x, 9 times x. Is that okay? Now if you want to get x here, then you should divide by 9 both sides, right? So this 9 and 9 will cancel and you get x is equals to 12 times 3 divided by 9. 12 times 3 is 36, right? So we get 36 over 9 and 36 over 9 is 4. So we get x equals to 4. Same answer as we got previously, right? But I hope you appreciate both the methods. First one is using a scale factor, second one using cross multiply. Adopt the method which you feel comfortable with. Okay, thank you.